Is it weird to wear a turtleneck under a hoodie? I feel like I look like I'm ready to go oh, snowboarding. Anyways, <laughs> welcome or welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to be talking about another one of my interview experience videos. Today is with the company Frucor Suntory, which I believe is just um, in Australia New Zealand. And they basically uh, are quite a popular beverage company. So even though you probably haven't heard of the company, I'm sure you've heard of their drinks such as uh, Just Juice V... Pepsi Max, um, Boss Coffee, etc, etc. So yeah, anyways, I applied to the company online, so I applied to their graduate program. So they have various different streams, but I applied to the business technology one, um, and that was on the 18th of May. And then a few weeks later, on the 11th of June, I got an email asking me to do um, an online video interview. So it's just one of those where essentially you just sit down and record yourself answering some questions. So the first question was please introduce yourself. So you had to talk a bit about your degree, um, your work experience and just the main skills that you've gained. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, the second question was what sparked your interest in Frucor Suntory's graduate program? I think I just said how there was rotations and I liked that because I wasn't you know really sure what exactly I wanted to do so being able to try different things would be nice um, and yeah I think just learning stuff meeting people just your generic you know <laughs> answers so then the third question was about their purpose which is like hungry to make drinks better and then you had to kind of explain what that meant to you and how you would deliver on it so I think I just talked about really valuing innovation and just wanting to you know constantly give out new ideas and be better um, than you are now uh, especially you know in terms of technology obviously it's really moving at a quick pace so you just got to be constantly agile and innovating and then the next question was what is your favorite fruit core product and how would you improve it if you had the chance so i basically talked about boss coffee um i've never actually tried it but i thought it was a cool idea to have coffee in a can and essentially i just suggested having a plant-based milk option so basically they have like uh, a black coffee version and then they have like um, an iced latte version with milk obviously and then I was saying you know they could include plant-based options like soy milk and oat milk or coconut milk and like genuinely I would be keen for that because if you guys didn't know I don't consume dairy. This question was pretty random but it was basically if you could have like the absolute truth to one question what question would you ask and I basically think and I think I said something really obscure, um, and I was like, I want to know how the universe was created, um, which is pretty random, but funnily enough, this was like the question I spent the most time thinking, um, and I remember when I got to the assessment center, like, we talked about it, and apparently, literally one guy was just like, I just want to know who wins the cricket, so it doesn't really matter, like, this isn't going to be, you know, the question that, like, prevents you from making it through, so I wouldn't be too worried. Um, when it comes to those kind of questions and then yeah, so I did that on the 11th of June and then 10 days later I basically just got an email saying I was invited to uh, their assessment center and This is quite a special one because this was actually the first in-person assessment center that I've gone to um, This year, so even though I've done a lot of interviews including you know virtual assessment centers all of them have been online So the fact that this was in person. I was actually pretty excited. I think to a certain extent, it makes it almost more real and you, you feel more nervous, you know, you feel like it's more legit. <laughs> so, um, yeah, for whatever reason, I guess, makes sense. Um, but yeah, so once I got invited, um, I actually received a call from a recruiter as well and they basically just talked me through it. Um, they talked about, like, how it would work and um, the fact that I would have to prepare a presentation for a case study, uh, which I was a little bit nervous about because I've never really done that. They also asked you if you had like dietary requirements and even though like I basically I'm vegan but I didn't want to say it so I didn't and there ended up being like there was fruit and I think there's like veggie wraps so it was fine. Um, but anyways, the, the case study was only sent like midday Tuesday and then we had to basically submit it the next morning so I thought that was a bit like short because yeah like if I had I was busy the Tuesday and the and the Wednesday so I basically was scrambling to do it like Tuesday night so that was a bit stressful uh it, it wasn't too difficult um but I just feel like they could have had a little bit more time because you know obviously everybody's busy and someone might have like you know work like Tuesday night and then they're not able to really um finish or concentrate on the case study properly so yeah I'd recommend at least having like a 48 or 72 hours 
um, when you're giving those kind of assessments. But yeah, so once I did that, I was basically ready to go. So the um, assessment day was on the 1st of July. And it was meant to be from 9am to 12.30 at their offices in Manuka, which is like in South Auckland. So yeah, it was a pretty, pretty good location. Um, there was parking, so I just drove. And we, we got told to arrive at 8.30. So I basically left the house probably like very early, maybe like 7.50. Because I just didn't want to be late. You know, I thought there was going to be traffic. Um, and there ended up being like actually barely any traffic. So I got there right on time. I think we basically just ended up waiting for about half an hour until it was actually 9. So I would say you don't need to really go that early. Like I could I could have got there at like 8.50 and it would have been fine. I got there um, to the assessment center and there was a bunch of other graduates. Uh, honestly, more people than I had expected. Like there was literally probably about 30 people there. Um, basically, you know, they have about five streams. So if you do the math, there's about probably like five candidates for each stream. So yeah, about 25, 30 people. And yeah, so we got there and then we basically had to sign in. Um, had like a little name tag and then they were like pointed to their drinks fridge and they were like feel free to just grab any drinks so I helped myself to a smoothie because you know why not <laughs> and then yeah we basically just chatted with the other graduates for a little bit it was pretty overwhelming because like we were all packed into this one room and everyone was like talking to each other um, and it was quite funny because I actually recognized some people that I knew like from middle school yeah like intermediate I want to say and then one other girl that went to my uni um, which is funny, but I guess, you know, Auckland is kind of a small, small place. And yeah, I didn't mention this, but when the recruiter was telling me about the assessment center, she told me that the graduate salary was 53,000 uh, a year. So I thought that was like, it was okay. It was like, it was decent. Um, it wasn't, you know, anything ma amazing, but I thought it was nice of her to like, let me know the salary because I don't think any other place has told me like what the salary is. Um, before an interview. Once I got there we basically went into this room at about nine o'clock and then we got um, a little briefing. Um, we got told about you know what's gonna happen and then we got a little introduction to the company. Had to like watch this video. Um, we also got given goodie bags which is nice. There was about like four or five cans of like, their various um, drinks. So like the Pepsi you know all that stuff. Um, and then we yeah, so we got it split up into groups and so their, their graduate program has five different streams And so our groups I think we were like one person from each stream We were sat down at a table and then we just had to do like a bunch of um, you know group exercises so One of them was building like this tower with spaghetti and with like balance a marshmallow on it So it wasn't too hard. It was more just like, you know, you just gotta contribute um, talk, but don't talk over people and yeah I mean I don't really have any advice it's kind of like common sense I guess and then after we did that um, we broke off into our actual stream so like the business people were you know the, with the tech people were together um, marketing people were together like you know supply chain people were together and it was kind of funny because you could definitely see like each group like the type of person <laughs> that you would think would be there so like for marketing, you know, you had all like these like blonde girls that you like, you know, you'd expect with your marketing and then like supply chain people and then tech people who were like low-key nerds, but that's all good. <laughs> um and then yeah, we had to do another space exercise. We had to do another exercise where um it was one of those where you like, you know, there's been an accident or a disaster and then you gotta rank these items in order of importance. Um so again, pretty straightforward nothing nothing too hard nothing too stressful i will say all the people that were in my stream were like very very nice very cool people that i'm sure would be awesome to work with but unfortunately we i think they were only hiring one tech graduate so that was a bit unfortunate and i do remember we got introduced to some like graduates that had been hired for the previous years and i remember seeing like every stream you know there was like a marketing grad a supply chain grad um but I was like, where are the tech grads? Um, but later on, I realized that this is actually the first year they were hiring technology graduates. So that's why there were no prior people to like even ask questions to because we were like basically the first cohort um, in terms of technology. Uh, but yeah, so once that was done, we basically got split into our different streams. So, so my stream was business technology. And we also kind of broke away into like um, little groups. So... For the stream, I think there was five people all together. So two people presented and then three other people were like in a room and then we basically just talked to some 
uh, of the current like employees there and we we're basically just asking questions getting to know people and then that went on for about 30 minutes I want to say and then we kind of just changed over switched over so then I did my presentation um, I remember it was it was very chill very relaxed like the people interviewing me they were pretty much just joking around I think they were like kind of surprised by how much I knew about technology and I was like yeah man I, I know what I'm talking about um, so then like when I did my presentation they got super serious and it was like very quiet um, but yeah overall it wasn't too difficult um, after that I did like you know your typical interview um, so they sat down and basically just asked me you know why do you want to work here what do you like about our values and you know just situation type questions um, so I did that and then at the end they asked me, you know, do I have any questions for them? And I was like, nah, <laughs> I feel like this was probably a mistake because, you know, obviously you want to see more engaged and ask questions. But to be honest, at this point, like, okay, I'm, this is going to sound arrogant, but I almost felt like I didn't really want to work there. So I, I didn't really need to try because... Uh, don't get me wrong like everyone there was lovely but I felt like especially the fact that they were only hiring one technology person and this was like the first year and the people that I spoke with they were basically just complaining how like they're they're very understaffed and they basically just have no budget for like technology at all so that kind of I guess didn't leave a great impression for me personally um, because I you know obviously being so very interested in technology I want to be somewhere that's like very um, you know, innovative and really puts technology first, like really values that. Whereas I feel like Frucor, they're more of a product oriented company. So I think if you're doing like marketing or obviously, you know, food science, then that kind of makes sense. But I guess from, you know, a technology software point of view, like that's probably not the best company to go to, especially because I did ask if they, you know, had like software developers and that kind of thing. And they basically just said, um, they outsource all of that so the the most technical people they have are basically just like data analysts or people that work with you know like SAP so yeah so once that was done we basically all of the uh, tech people or the tech like graduates candidates um, got into a room and then we had another little discussion for a few minutes and then after that um, that was basically it so yeah that's basically my whole experience um, Overall, I feel like it was a pretty, pretty smooth recruitment process, like um, compared to some other companies I've applied to, it was fairly quick. And after the assessment center, I got a call the week later telling me that um, I was not successful. Honestly, I really <laughs> didn't keep my hopes up. Like I kind of knew that um, I wasn't super enthusiastic and I was 100% expecting to be rejected. Um, but nevertheless, I do appreciate the fact that they let me know because, um, you know, if you've seen my other videos, you'll know that a lot of companies just straight up ghost you, which is like, not great. Um, so yeah, the fact that they got back to me is good. However, um, I do feel like, I don't know if it's just me, but I think if you're going to reject someone, you might as well just send them an email. Like, why even call them? Because <laughs> if you're going to call someone, like, you still like you're giving them a little bit of hope that they're going to get through whereas if you send an email it's like very obvious very blunt like we didn't want you whereas a call is like hi how are you you know how how was your experience and then you basically have to go through like all this like annoying you know conversation before they actually reject you uh but yeah anyways overall um i really have nothing bad to say about the company i just think it wasn't the right fit for me and what i'm looking for so yeah if you've watched this far i hope you've got something out of it and if you have an interview good luck try your best and make the most of their drinks